So let's talk about the trail system. First of all, I want to give a very general explanation about this system. Um, we have one example here. Here we have a character with a running animation. And uh, for having a trail system, we are going to render the movement of this character from down. Okay, uh, we save all the data inside these textures and, uh, and several operations are applied to these textures and these textures are re-rendering in, in a, another uh, larger textures as you can see we have these and, um, and uh, finally these uh, textures Textures are used in material function, and we can use this material function to have a trail effect on, on our asset, for example, landscape aesthetic mesh. So now, um, if I click to play, the character start here. Uh, mm, to start, I will add a plane here. I increase the scale, something like that. Well, now I want to have a footprint on this plane. What should I do now? Um, first of all, I will find the character blueprint and then open it. Yeah, here. Mm, I open the blueprint. As you can see, there is a child actor inside the character blueprint. Uh, let's see what blueprint is applied here. If I click on this, I will come here and in um, in blueprint section there's no trail folder we have four blueprint here and uh, as you can see i give the blueprint number one to this character um, the task of this blueprint is to capture the image from the bottom view of the character and uh, let's talk about this blueprint uh, in, our, in our environment, we have one example of this blueprint. Here in the character, I added in from a child actor, and here in the environment, I added directly. So, if I hold Ctrl plus B on the keyboard, you can see this is blueprint number 3, and another, this sphere, we use blueprint number 4 and number 2. The first thing that is very important here is that we can only use each of these blueprints once. For example, we cannot use two times of at the same time from blueprint number three. And the next very important point is that you must start from blueprint number one. Uh, therefore, it is better to always apply blueprint number one to our main character. So now let's talk about the blueprint itself as you can see i attach this blueprint to to the character there is a camera here to capture the character and result of that capture shows here um, here i have a 3d vector parameter called dip and this value adjusts the height uh, it means if this close to character knees, we can say that the snow is up to the character knee. And uh, if we bring this higher, as you can see, it's cover more height of the character. And uh, well, uh, in this example, our snow is as high as this, some somewhere, yeah. Uh, also, we have another preview on, on the right side. Uh, if, 
if I click on this update option this preview will be updated and uh, the preview is the that preview will be saved um, in the end uh, to make the final render smoother uh, we, uh, we have some parameter here uh, for example this blur size can be more or less and uh, we can uh, uh, if these two number increase we will have a smoother result but this this is not good for performance okay and this option is the wide area covered by this camera uh, for example if we had the car instead of instead of this character it will be better to increase this number uh, here if I click on the simulate as you can see nothing happens so let me okay if I move it higher and no result mm. We don't see the result because there is no blueprint number one in the environment. Um, so will I will add the blueprint number one to the level, and as you can see, we got the result. Well, I will delete this because uh, here uh, already the character has the blueprint number one in it. Yeah and uh, when I play the game blueprint number one will be added to the scene with the character uh, so to adjust the character footprint we can also come here and add the character blueprint to our scene and uh, uh, in the blueprint, if I click here to turn on the show guide parameters, uh, now we have to, uh, you can see the result and adjust, we can see the result and adjust parameter. So we don't need the character here and uh, this plane need the, need the material. Uh, so I go in here and making new material. I call it mat trail and I open the material and turn on this option yeah. mm. I mm, I will come here and use one of these as no material function. Yeah, I connect the result to material attribute. I click on apply, and uh, now I create an instance and apply the instance to our mesh. Now, now we have we have a, a snowy plane. Now, how to add the trail system to this material? Uh, uh, as I said before, the rendering image exists in the material function. If I, yeah, I can use this material function to add the tray data to our material. So I bring this to our material and uh, I connect the result to here and here to material attribute now uh, we need the snow layer uh, it's a where is where is our snow because the whole object is covered with the snow so I came, came here and make a constant value and set it to 1 I click on apply uh, and play yeah as you can see if you have we have a trail effect on our plane. In the next video, we talk more about uh, this system and the parameters.